Hey Emily, how was your day today? Yeah, same old, same old. Went to the shops, did a bit of shopping. Got some bargains. You know me in the reduced section at the shops. What could I found? Apple juice. Yeah. Yum. Freshly squeezed, guaranteed 30 apples in every 3 litre container. Retailed at $8. Guess what I paid? Seven. No. A dollar sixty. What? I only got two days left on it, but I reckon we could think of something to do with all this. Because you know me, I got all of them. Five. Well, we got plenty of apple cider. Yeah, we do. Oh, no. But you know what go well? What? I found pears. 99 cents a kilo. Apple oh. and pear wine. Ah. Hey guys, Troy here. Emily. From Aussie Homesteading. Now, Emily can't help herself. Apple juice. A dollar sixty for three litres reduced. It only had two days left on it, but I knew we could do something in two days. Pears. We've got 7.2 kilos. So, today we're going to make an apple and pear wine. We've got plenty of apple cider to last us for a while, so we'll do something a little bit different. <laughs> so, to start with, Emily's going to uh, start cutting them up. Now, what we're going to talk about is getting your ABV right. Now, we don't know what the ABV of these is at the moment and with the pears, so what we're going to do is we're going to calculate it in a minute. We'll take, we're going to stew the pears up just to break, so they break up a little bit, release some of their juices. We're going to pour all this into the fermenter, put the pears into the fermenter with a litre of water from the stew. Then we're going to take an ABV reading, get a specific gravity, and we'll calculate how much sugar we want to put in to give us the alcohol percentage that we're after. Now we are using, if I can find it, it's a Mangrove Jack's wine, uh, yeast. Oh. Hang on. It'll be right here. <laughs> there it is. Uh, it's got an 18 cent uh, potential alcohol. So, and we want to make this sweet. So we're going to aim for a uh, percentage a little bit higher than that, so we're going to go about 1.1, yeah, it was 1.15. So I supposed to write that down? <laughs> of uh, specific gravity. So, to calculate what we actually, how much sugar we need to put in, we take the specific gravity reading and we want to work out the original one, then we can calculate how much sugar we need to add for to get what we desire. The calculation is, and it's going to appear here in a second as well, so it is you add to raise one gallon of must by one brick you add 1.5 ounces of sugar. Now let me rephrase that in Australian English. In Australia? <laughs> okay, I will work this calculation out a little bit better. Going to talk Skippy? <laughs> Australian. So that is for every 3.78 litres of must, to raise that by half a percent of ABV, we add 4.5. Uh, we add 42.5 grams of sugar. Now, in the comments below, it'll be written. Description box. In the description box, sorry. And I will try and calculate it to a more palatable um, description. So, while, uh, while we finish cutting up these pears, we'll... Uh, cut to uh, over to the stove in a minute. See you then. 
Welcome back guys, we've uh, cut up all the pear and um, just fit it into one stock pot. It's a bit overflowing but as you know pear really does um, come down. Oh look at that, a cute little bum bum. That'll make some extra juicy and delicious wine I'm sure. Now I'm just adding a litre of water just to make sure that it doesn't catch on the bottom. So we don't want that, that's for sure. And once this is um, come up to the boil and we're going to just do an estimation of how much sugar just to add to start melting it down into a sugar syrup and um, we'll show you that once we've got it to that stage okay uh, it's ready for the sugar now you can see all that juice has come out of the pears as you know we only put a litre of water in there and that is exactly what we want all the fructose and natural sugars, the tannins in the skin, everything's um, helped released with the boiling water. Now, Troy estimated he's going to start with at least five kilos of sugar. So we're just going to put this in now and let it melt and then he'll play with it later. See if we don't overflow it. Might just leave it there. We'll have to add that into the fermenter. I'm <laughs> yeah. sorry. Probably should have done it in two pots. Oh, live and learn, my friends. That's it. Okay, we're just gonna slowly mix this in and try not to spill. So uh, we'll see you when this has all melted in at the table where the magic happens. Okay, we're back where the magic happens. Right. Pear stewed, as we've, as you've seen, couldn't get all the five kilos of sugar in there. So but there is a juicy bum bum. There is a juicy bum bum. <laughs> that was why we couldn't get all the sugar in. <laughs> so, start off, let's pour in our 15 litres of apple juice. Now, we noticed on the packaging while we were waiting for the pears to boil um, that this not only does it have 30 apples guaranteed in the three litres of juice, um, it also says on the label 100% Australian fruit, no added sugar, no preservatives, no artificial flavours. Key being no added sugar. So there's not going to be a very high um, sugar content. It's only going to be the natural from in the apples so I mean that's good in the sense that this is a hundred percent pure apple juice however um, we're probably going to be needing to add quite a bit of sugar to this mix so it's going to be interesting and yes we buy sugar in bulk we buy it as 25 kilo bags Oh, it's foaming up in there. That it is. Lovely. Nicely aerated for the yeast. Oh, the yeast. Should I get that going? Yes, please. So, Mangrove Jacks CL23 with a uh, expected alcohol of, well, an alcohol tolerance of 18%. I'll give that to you. And we're going to bring up the sugar to try and get that 18%. Oh, well. Plus, we're going to have a sweet one. Can you pass us the stirrer, please? I can. Which one? The drill one? The yeah. drill one. I find that this is really good on the drill. It is also great for using in the demijohns too. As it goes, thin. Now I'm just going to mix the rest of the sugar in here first. The sugar we couldn't fit in the pears. Sit that there. 
And can I have the big spoon, please? Okay. Thank you. This might take me a while. So we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> or ten. Okay, that's all in. Let's give it a good mix. Now for the sp sp specific gravity, without chunks please. Okay, specific gravity ready. Took me a while to get it out because of the uh, amount of pairs in here. Now. Calculations. So we've got a specific gravity reading of 1.110 as a starting, and we want to get it up to about 1.16. So, working on that formula as before. So we go, so that is bringing it up as an alcohol percentage. We're currently at 14.5% potential alcohol and we want to take it up to about 20 so 5.5% increase and that will give us a 2% sweetness level yeah so as per the calculations we have let me, so we've got 26 litres so 26 divided by 3.78 equals so 6.67 so we times 6.67 times that by the 11 which is 5.5 yeah, is five is eleven lots of half a percentage to bring us up to the five and a half percent. So it's times eleven, and then we times that by forty two point five oh. grams. Forty two point five equals. This will all come up here in a minute on your screen on your screen which gives us 3.2 kilograms of sugar 3.215 so we'll cut back in a second when I've measured that out and we're back for 3.2 3. just have 3.2 kilos of sugar so I'll add that in Give her a good mix.
flinging it everywhere. Now, jug please. Let's see if we can get this without much matter in there. So normally we use the turkey baster but uh, we switched to the jug for this one because it's just so much little bits of pear everywhere. It's very hard. Kept on clogging up the uh, turkey base to the pear. So I'm just skimming off the top a little bit. And as much as this can be a tedious process when you've got little bits in it, it is so essential to do your reading you can't not do it you have to find a way to take that measurement because you can't do anything if you don't know the reading if anything went wrong or if you ever get stuck and you need some help you can ask Troy but he can't help you if you haven't taken that initial gravity reading it's hard to see because of the foam isn't it it is I can see one point one five, so I'm estimating one point one five five through the phone. One point one five five zero. Did that fit on? No, the yeah, one point no, one five five. Didn't fit on the sticker. Hang on. All sterilised, as everything is. Now, let's. Hang on, splatters everywhere. I like to make a mess. It'll just help the sticker stick. And that the truth. <laughs> okay. And our temperature is around about 26 degrees so we're fine to uh, pitch the yeast yep which is here it's all hydrated beautiful beautifully hydrated yeast we're a bit of a mix and a quick little stir Thank you. And there we go. And we'll let that go until, oh, probably at least three weeks as a uh, primary fermentation. Well, maybe four, because we, we do want to max it to give it a good chance to get to that 18% and max out the potential of this yeast strain. And the pears too, before we strain them out. Mm. So, we, we'll get our gravity reading, see what, keep an eye on it. And we'll see you again in the next video when we uh, rack it to second fermentation. Have a good night. Please subscribe and hit the like button and we'll see you next time. See ya.